Guys, it's Elvis Brown back here again with another guitar tutorial. We've got Screw Juice. Uh, it's a song off of the album Legends Never Die by Juice World. Um, we're going through the list on this album that we haven't played yet uh, and uh, trying to put together as many of the songs as possible to put in a playlist that I will link at the end of this video. So go check that out. Um, let me know if I've missed anything or if there are any other songs by Juice World that you want to learn on guitar. All right. Uh, what we're doing here is we're going to be uh, showing you this part here, this little... Okay? Uh, and then I'll show you the chords for the song, all right? So your first thing here is we're going to do uh, capo on the first fret, by the way. And we're going to put a third fret A, second fret D, also second fret G. And then we're going to need to leave uh, a finger open for the 3rd fret B, okay? Alright, so first what we're going to do is we're going to pluck A and D together, and then we're going to pluck B, G, and then B, G, B, okay? And then on that, that last B, you're going to put a finger on the 3rd fret of the B string, so you're going to go... Okay. Alright. Can you see that better? Might be better to do it like this. So you're gonna go A and D, B, B, G, then B, G, B, and then do it again. Okay. Then we're gonna do an E minor chord, 022000, but we're also gonna put a finger on that second fret. G again and leave a pinky for that third fret B. Uh, so it's almost, it's like a zero two 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 zero zero. Okay, we'll pluck E and A together. E, A, you could almost do E, A, and D together if you wanted to. Okay, and then B, G, B, G, B. And then on that last B again, you're going to put that third fret, uh, third fret B. So you do that twice, right? C, you do that twice. And then E minor, do it again. Okay. If you want to just do chords, capo on the first fret, by the way, uh, we're going to go C, 332000, to E minor, 0, 022000. Right, that little skip there was a G chord, 320003. And sometimes you will you will go from E minor to D to C, and that D is a dark D five five four zero zero zero. So for strumming pattern for this song, I'm just really kind of going down, up, uh, down, down, up, uh, 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 down. Okay, so. going to hit that, that G chord or that D chord kind of right at the end before you transition back to C. So you're going 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, and 8 E minor. 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So it's 8 and. Okay. Right. 
for the D chord transition, it's a little bit less, sorry, it's a little bit less skippy. It's gonna go. Okay, so just, just know that you can uh, have a little bit more of a smooth transition if you're going from D to C. Uh, so, and you don't even have to do the transitional chords. You could just go C to E minor, C to E minor, and not even have to worry about you know anything else. But if you want to add a little bit of flair, throw in a little bit of that G chord, throw in a little bit of that dark D transitioning. You know, it's like a step down from E minor to D to C. It's a natural step. You know, um, so just. Think about it. Anyway, hopefully you enjoyed this tutorial. Please give it a like down below. Comment on what you want to learn. You can subscribe right here. Check out some other videos down here. Okay? Thanks for watching. I hope to see you again soon.